What's up YouTube? Mike here with another video and today I'm going to do something that I haven't done for a very long time and that's going to be an unboxing and first impression. So as you can see right here I've got something that I've kind of wanted to check out for quite a while and that's the Chromebook Pixel. Now I wanted to get the HP X, HP Chromebook X3. It's a mouthful but the first detachable Chromebook. I talked about it in an earlier video but the reason I got this instead is because this is on sale right now for, you can get it for $325 off and really it's twice the RAM, twice the storage as the HP Chromebook. So you're kind of foolish when essentially they're priced within $25 of each other now to not get the Chromebook. So with that, let's get started and as I'm unboxing it, I'll kind of tell you how I got the deal, how I got the price. So. Without further ado, let's do this. So, I literally just picked this up today from Best Buy, so I'm pretty excited. I had to wait till I get home to open this thing up, but I also went ahead and got the pin. So, talking about my discount real quick while I'm opening this thing is right now you can get this from B&H, Google's website, or you can go to Best Buy, and they're all $250 off. The exception is or where you can get more is you can get an additional 10% for a student discount. And you can get that if you get it through Google or if you go into your local Best Buy. Now, if you're overseas, I'm not sure on the deals or discounts through Google or B&H or if they ship overseas, but a tip for you is even if you're not a student, you're not a college student, um, if you go to Best Buy, you go to their website, you can still sign up and get the student deals and you can get a 10% coupon. So that's what I did. Technically, I'm enrolled in college right now, so I wasn't necessarily lying, but if you want to get the extra 10% and you're not in college, they don't verify, so um, to me, it's totally worth it. You'll save an extra about 75 bucks. So really, that brings the cost down to your saving 325 bucks because it's 250 plus the 75. And uh, obviously, if you buy it from Best Buy or Google, you're going to pay tax. If you get it from B&H, you're not. So I was going to get it from B&H until I heard about the student discount because that essentially takes care of the taxes. And the pen I went ahead and got as well because I wanted to try. And you can get this um, for $82 right now. So it's $82 on Amazon, $82 on B&H, and Best Buy price match it. So that's what I did. All right, so let's dig into this thing. So like I said, I haven't bought a new piece of tech for quite a while so I'm actually fairly excited about this so um, and the Google packaging always looks good so I've actually got the second gen uh, Chromebook Pixel and it's very similar so set that aside and essentially this is what you guys get so you get the USB C to C cable um, fairly long cable it looks like And I know this thing's been out for about 10 months now, so uh, this is not the first one you've seen, I'm sure, but the board's actually pretty good length, so that's not bad at all. But this is new to me, so here's the power brick. Now this does uh, advertise fast charge, so you're supposed to get 10 hours of battery life on this, and um, I'm not exactly 100% sure on the charging times, but it's supposed to be pretty darn quick. But it's got the Google branding. I kind of like the white. Uh, boxy look that Google does with everything and in the background I've actually got the original Chromebook pixel box I can show you guys oh never mind I've got stuff sitting on I've got stuff sitting on it I don't want to fool with it right now but it's very similar to the original minus the the Google light bar so finally getting to the device alright so let's see this there it is. And I will say that if this was still the original $9.99 that I wouldn't have bought it. I don't think it would have been worth the price. But the build of this is extremely good. It's a solid aluminum. Of course you got a glass back right here and some kind of silicone cover right here. And looks like going around, we've got 
a USB-C on this side. That looks like a microphone. And then we got a headphone jack coming to the other side. All we have is a, a headphone jack. So we're not not a headphone jack, but a USB-C. So you've got a USB-C on each side and a headphone jack. And I know this has got a SD card reader somewhere, I think. So let's open this thing up. And of course in the box, you've got all the paperwork. And I know right now, if you go to the Google website, you can also get a little thing to hold the pin, a pin loop essentially for free. And this is just like a quick start guide, warranty, the stuff that nobody reads. So let's crack this baby open. And there it is. And maybe this doesn't have a SD card slot. Actually, it's right here. So you got a micro SD slot right there, I lied to you. Where is that the power button? Anyway, this is just the first impression. So I'm going to do a full review of this and I'll, I'll clear all that up. But of course, there's the inside. And this thing is a two in one. So it does the whole two in one thing. I'm not sure if this has a charge in it or not, but we can fire this thing up and see if it'll actually turn on. Maybe I should read the quick start guide so I can figure out which damn power button. And it looks like I will have to charge this thing up. And I'll definitely let you guys know if it has a SD card reader, which I don't think it does. But just for some comparison, this thing is ridiculously thin, by the way. I'll show you. Here's the one I'm currently rocking, which is the actual 2015 Chromebook Pixel, which you can see this has got a actual SD card slot for a full-size SD card, two USB-Cs and two USB-As, but the um, size difference is pretty darn substantial. Let's see if I can show you. Uh, I will tell you the Pixelbook is way thinner and way lighter than the 2015 model. And going all the way around, it's literally almost twice the twice the size as far as thickness. And I'm willing to bet the weight is double because this guy is a little chunky compared to the new one. But the one thing I don't like. Google did was they got rid of the light bar. So in this one, you tap it three times, you get your battery status and all that, but they left that out of the Pixel Book, which I wish they wouldn't have, because that was kind of like the Apple light up logo. That was kind of their signature thing. So anyways, I'm going to set this thing up, um, play with it and spend a couple days with it. I'm still not hundred percent sure if I'm going to keep this or not, because I really do like the 2015 model, but um, all the reviews I've seen on the thus, this thus far, and with the $325 discount, I kind of couldn't pass it up. So um, before I close this video though, let's take a look at the pin, which again, this is an optional accessory. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with it. Um, when it's not on sale, the pin costs 99 bucks. So I do think that they should have included this but I guess the reason is the same reason why Microsoft stopped including theirs was only about a third of the people actually ever used it. So I can look at it there, but at the same time, maybe they should lower the price of the Pixel Book if you're not going to include the pen. But it's kind of similar looking to an Apple Pencil box. And it takes a quad A battery, and this is actually an active stylus, so it's Bluetooth. I do know that much. And it looks like. The battery is in the box. So let's see. Yep, there it is. So it does come with the battery. You just got to put the thing in. So we can figure out how this thing opens. It should just, yep, yeah, just like that. And it's got a nice little picture. So let's see. Now, I'm not sure what the pairing process is for this yet. I guess I'll figure that out and I'll let you guys know. But it does just have one button. It's made out of aluminum. 
and it's really light so it looks like it just has the one button and just for comparison here's an apple pencil it's actually feels about half the weight of an apple pencil and of course it's a bit shorter and fatter but um, I do I kind of like the smaller tip than they got on the apple pencil but there you have it so that is the pixel book which I know it's been out for 10 months and the I guess it's called the pixel book pen but I'm gonna play with this thing set it up and I will let you guys know in a few days what I think of it and whether I'm gonna keep it or not if I do end up keeping it then obviously I'm gonna sell my 2015 model because I don't need two Chromebooks but with that hopefully you guys enjoyed that if you have any questions on this or there's something you want to see on the pixel book whether it can do whatever I don't know you guys tell me and I'll do my best to I guess find the answer for you so anyways if you've not subscribed please do so and if you hit that notification bell you'll know when I get new videos so as always thanks for watching